welcome. I am the one and only MSJ, Max for short, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is October 23rd, 2022. You know what that means. It is day 23 of the 31 Days of Fright Horror Movie Project, year 11. There is no day 22, just due to the fact that uh, I was exhausted. By the time I got home, I went straight to bed. I didn't even, I got up in time to film a review, but I just couldn't find the motivation to do it all in all honesty i was just very tired and today i have a little bit more energy you know i'm running a little behind on how i would normally do my reviews but i'm here i'm trying to make this final week leading up to halloween a perfect week so so yeah <laughs> please click subscribe hit the bell leave a like leave a comment and share because today's movie is a really good one it is X. I don't actually have a physical copy, so I had the <gasps> cheesiness. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't own a physical copy yet because I'm holding out to see if there we do a kind of a cool um, two double feature box set for Pearl, which is the prequel to this movie, because I really love this movie and I'm excited to see kind of where the prequel comes from, where it goes, and like what makes her. Um, do the things that she's done, you know, or why she is the way she is. And because, uh, Mia Goth, uh, she plays dual roles in this movie. She plays, um, our lead actress in the movie. And as well as the, um, kind of the aging woman who has who always strived to be a movie star, but never made it. And so, um, that's where this movie comes into play where a bunch of people have come together um like a strip club owner um this a stripper i do believe um a like kind of film school students or people and just and just people that just hung around you know and they just like they're going to make an adult film out in this farmhouse out in the country which they just chose the wrong house. That's what basically what it boils down to. And, but it's so much more than that. It's more than just kind of a raunchy movie. There is a lot of like adult themes in this movie in various different ways. You got the, the, the porno aspect of it being adult. Then you got the adult themes of aging and youth and just like, like regrets and everything like that. So this movie is pretty deep in terms of that. It's just like the trailers really focus on one aspect of the movie and it's kind of very a small part of it and I understand why, but once you actually start watching it, it's much, much, much more than that. And that's what I really dug about this movie because it was about, it's more about aging and youth and trying to like recapture that youth. Um, uh, because this older woman sees the, all these younger people making this movie and she just, she's been wanting to, you know, do have fun and live a, like a very exciting life. And she's trying to recapture it. And her husband, he has a very serious heart condition. So if any, you know, extracurricular activities could be the final thing that kills him, you know, and it, spoiler, um, uh, it eventually does, but it's like in a moment where like, oh my God, you know, it's, it's wow. Um, but what this movie does really well is like the movie starts off like a cold open. You see the aftermath of everything you see, but like the cops have already been there. Um, sheets have been covered of over, over the bodies. So you don't know who has died, who has survived, what it had really went down until it kind of flashbacks into um, the beginning of the to where the events kind of start to unfold. And I like everybody in this movie. They're just a lot of fun. Mia Goth is fantastic in this movie. Um, I think Jenna Ortega is in this movie. She plays kind of like the naive good girl, you know. And, but once she kind of starts to like, she's running boom mic, you know, the people who hold the big, um, microphones, she witnesses one of the scenes and the, the film and the far, the movie's called farmer's daughter. Cause it, um, it's playing off racism there. Um, it's like, 
um, this Kid Cudi, you know, black guy, he shows up and he, looking for work, I do believe. And it's set in the, set, the late, like, 79, 1980 era. And, and it's just, you know, just playing off, like, that stereotype of thing, you know. Um, and so, and the older woman witnesses all this and she's starting to get all hot and bothered and as well as Jenna Ortega's character, she's like, I want to be, I want to film a scene. She's like, she's starting to kind of awaken herself and just like, oh man, it's just, it's so good. Like just because like, even because she's there with her boyfriend, I think, and he gets, he st starts to get upset about this. And that's what really kicks off this movie is like, he's done. Like I'm out of here after he's filmed a few scenes taking the camera and the van and heading out of here. And then like, that's where the kills start to go. And it's brutal. Like the, the kills are pretty brutal. I was, I was kind of upset with one kill of the movie, but it was okay. Um, I wish it was a little different, um, but it served its purpose, I should say, um, because I really wished his death was more, um, different i don't know why i wish it was a little bit different like um there's some deaths that just came out of nowhere one is just fantastic it involves an alligator or a crocodile uh and from the trailers for a pearl that comes back that particular crocodile comes um i'm not sure if it's that one but i know they live a long time so it could be that particular one <laughs> that shows back up so it's just i'm just i love this movie and it's more than what the trailers make it out to be. So I really wish people would like just disregard the trailers on this one. I really hate to say that for movies because the trailers really do make or break a movie sometimes. But this one really, it's like you just need to kind of like just go in blindly and just watch it. And like a little bit of synopsis does not hurt. But it just, I love it. Like, I really do love it, and that's why I'm looking forward to Pearl, because in it kind of goes into the backstory of Pearl, which is the older lady of the movie, and why she's just, like, why she's, like, really upset about the fact that she's getting old, and she's taking it out on this young group of people, you know, <laughs> and, and they are brutal, and, like, like, <laughs> it's so good, it really is more than what the trailer, that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm really, what I'm, like, I sat down to watch this and for the first time and then when I've been thinking about it for this month it's just like the trailers are just focused heavy on one little aspect of the movie and it's fun it's like I mentioned don't watch the trailers maybe one and just to kind of give you like an idea of what to expect and then that's it don't don't watch any more don't read anything about it just going blindly and that because that's probably the most fun way to do some of these kind of these a24 films so oh man yeah um that's really all i have to say um just like the the beginning of the movie is really cool not knowing who died who survived and just seeing the aftermath of the carnage that's taken place over this couple days um and then you get to see some spectacular dual acting from Mia Goth as an older woman and as her younger self. Um, uh, like, yeah. Um, and then, what else? Uh, just Kid Cudi's really good in this movie. Um, it does have nudity. It has a lot of um, gore. Uh, um, just Brittany Snow, she kind of steals the movie a little bit. Um, especially with her death scene and just her acting and she's and she sings in the movie so shocker <laughs> um, but just a good movie it really is i highly recommend this one uh, it's just a fun movie i'll probably end up watching it um again before the month is over just because i would like to hopefully if pearl comes out i'll watch pearl and then do that one just to kind of see if there's any cool strong connections because i really like the fact that they filmed that movie in secret i've i just i love that i love that aspect of it so i'm looking forward to seeing that but until that comes out watch x and so 
Now on to my rating scale. One, run of the mill horror. Two, best watch with the group. Three, more than average, but adds nothing new to the horror genre. Four, help to move the horror genre forward. And five, being a horror classic. <sighs> I'm not quite sure where to rank this one. As much as I like this movie, it's not quite a horror classic yet. It has the potential to be a horror classic. It's definitely more than average, but it doesn't really break new ground in some aspects of, to help um, move the horror genre forward. Sorry, don't necessarily have to watch it with a group. It's definitely not run-of-the-mill, that's for sure. Just due to the fact of good storytelling, good acting, um, and that it has much more than what the trailers make it out to be. And I think it's probably a 3.5. It's definitely you're way more the average. It's not quite a horror classic. Doesn't move the horror genre forward. But it's right in the middle. It true it's a little bit more it's more towards a five to four or five with time. You know, like time will tell on this one. Depends on how pearl it goes. Okay, I think that really, truly will make this rating. I may have to come back on this one. And if this movie comes out later in the month um, for Pearl, I may have to come back and re-rate this one. And just because I want to, if you have Pearl and this one, to watch it like a really cool couple hour, like three hour movie, that this may be, a, it may be potentially be a five later on. So just don't just rambling there okay that is all uh, um i think it's a 3.5 it's definitely it's way more than average due to the acting the kills the themes the editing the look of the movie it's definitely way more than average because ty west is a fantastic director so yeah it's has some like serious um thought put into it <laughs> and so yeah that is all. I am the one and only MSJ, Max for short. And all I can really say is stay spooky and thank you.